everyone, it's Ellie from Coffee and Colouring here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing the Start Small tag uh, which was created by Jojoza Hanna who is Johanna here on YouTube. So this is just a lovely tag, uh, really creative as well, especially to help kickstart some new uh, colour tubers. I was tagged by the lovely Sarah at Chronic Colouring Down Under, so thank you so much Sarah, and this actually introduced me to Sarah's channel, so it goes to show you that this tag is helping introduce new colouring channels, which has been great. Uh, I've been watching a couple of videos on, uh, a couple of videos that are doing this tag and whoever they've been tagging, I've been checking them out. So I have been finding many, many new channels, uh, which is great. It's just awesome. So thank you again, Sarah, for tagging me and I'm going to get right into it. So there are five questions in this tag and the first one being, what does intimidating mean to you regarding your hobbies? I agreed with many of the things Jojo said in her video uh, about not wanting to let the intimidation get the better of you and, you know, you're paying money for these colouring books because you enjoy doing it so you shouldn't let the intimidation stop you from colouring in certain books. I completely agree with that and I try my very best to uh, not let intimidation get the better of me, uh, which I have been proud of the pieces that did intimidate me and then I ended up completing it and it feels really great afterwards. Even if you end up ruining the page in our own words, it's fine. You had fun hopefully in the moment, you learned from it, so yeah, I 100% agree with what she said there. So the first question, what does intimidating mean to you regarding your hobbies? So to me personally, like this book, Keepers of the Enchanted Forest, which is by Forest Diver, it's a very beautiful book. Intimidating to me usually is really, really detailed images and uh, kind of my own head plays a part in my intimidation because I really want to do all of my pictures justice. So that is the biggest thing that's intimidating to me and obviously the more detail, the more you would have to focus to try and do that, uh, like give that page the justice it deserves. So they both kind of play a role but I would definitely say the biggest factor for me is giving the page justice and uh, being proud of what I've done and sometimes money can be a factor for sure but yeah I don't let that stop me like I said I just really want to try and do the very best I can on the pages that I do so this is one of them and a similar one I've got country gardens here by uh, Teresa Goodridge very pretty book Again, just want to do the pages justice. Uh, there is some with a bit more detail. So the more detail, the harder it is, I feel, to uh, be consistent throughout. And, you know, with the colour schemes and everything, uh, there's just even more thought having to be put into it. So, yeah, those are my examples. Um... So yeah, we'll get into the next question. So question number two is, what is one of the most detailed intimidating pages you can't wait to start? So I had a perfect book for this. It is Mythomorphia by Kirby Rosanes or Rosanas. I'm not quite sure how to say it. Uh, I've loved this book since my coloring journey. I only got it recently though. Um, and I have... I love all the pages in it, but I have some little tags to show which ones that I think I will be colouring soon and that intimidate me a little bit. I say soon, but who knows when I'm going to actually do these. So the first one here is this one, this little character here. I absolutely love this page. 
uh, the more I love a page, obviously, the more it's going to intimidate you because it's your favourite. But I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm excited to jump into this page when I'm ready to, uh, once I kind of plan out some colour schemes in my head. But really, really love this page. Excited uh, to eventually start it. And I think I might use dough and ink tents and uh, coloured pencils on this page. So that is one. And then here's another one that... I really like that intimidates me because it's a double page spread so that falls into the more detail so more thought to color schemes and wanting to give the page the justice it deserves so it's this beautiful nine tail fox page really really love it uh, I believe I'll do the other page sooner than this page but yeah so that is that one. The third question is, what is one of the most detailed, intimidating pages that you will probably never do and why? Okay, this book I could have showed for the first question as well, but I wanted to keep it as a little surprise. Uh, but it is Lost Ocean by Johanna Basford. I love Johanna Basford. I love her work. But this book, I think it kind of intimidates everyone from what I've heard here on Colortube. But yeah, this, I, I love her work, which is why I got this book, because there are a lot of pages I do love in it. But this book is known in the colour community as one of Johanna's most detailed books it has a lot of small detail so as you see I've got a few pages marked here that I wanted to show you here's one it's a mandala styled ocean themed page as you see look at that really teeny tiny detail I just this I don't know if this is intimidating but a reason I wouldn't with most of the pages that I've tagged the reason that I will probably not start them and probably never do them is because they just don't really seem enjoyable to me. I'm not really into mandalas and this teeny tiny detail. I love shading and trying to blend colours and uh, yeah, the whole thing with choosing colour schemes. So here's another one here. It's this double page spread. It's a very wallpaper page uh yeah do not see myself doing that one uh, I don't see myself doing this page here you can kind of see a theme with the pages I'm just not interested in coloring them I don't think I'll enjoy myself coloring them uh which enjoying myself is very important when I'm coloring that's why I do it this one, uh, I could see myself maybe doing it, but I'd be using a medium that could just glide over the whole page, like watercolours or paint, <laughs> I don't know, uh, soft pastels or something like that, and just going over the whole thing with a gradient or something. That's the only way I'd probably do that page. And then uh, this one here again is falling under the mandala kind of style uh, which I have seen mandalas that have like instead of being more pattern themed which I know that's what mandalas are they're kind of very repetitive and mirrored and yeah but if it had like say you know uh if it was like a winter theme and there was a bunch of little penguins and then little igloos and things like that a bit more simple mandalas that are actual objects or animals something like that I feel like I'd have a lot of fun coloring them and yeah but uh, these are just super intimidating and I'm just not really interested in coloring this kind of styled stuff so that's kind of it, I guess it does fall into a little bit of intimidation, but the main reason is actually because I wouldn't find it enjoyable to colour. So yeah, uh, something like this, it's a little intimidating, but you know, I could shade the fishes, give it a nice gradient background, 
I can see myself having a lot of fun playing around with ideas on this page. So it's just, yeah, the smaller details and mandala kind of images. See, this one here I could colour because it's got more, you know, it's got some fish, a turtle, we've got an octopus, and yeah, there's the little details, but I'll play around with colours on that page. So yeah, I guess it's really just preference, but yeah, I, th I thought this book was perfect for this tag <laughs> and this question. Okay, so the fourth question is, what is your favourite small sized books? Oh, book or book? books because I'm going to show you multiple. So I've got three here that I'm going to show you and two of them are new. So I'll show you one I've had for a little bit. It is the Mystic Misfits pocket sized or travel sized coloring book by White Stag. I love the style of images in here. It's very, very cute and creepy cute, spooky. Um, I did complete one this month, which I'll show you a sneak peek. But yeah, I love it. Very easy colouring. Love the images. That is the one that I did. It's a little kitty page. Girl with a bunch of her cats. Absolutely love it. Oh, that one's really cute. So yeah, this is just a really, really fun small book, perfect for taking along with you um, when, you know, you're going away or something like that. So two new new ones I've got. Uh, a lot of you will know this one. It is Reptiloids by Vasil Seiko. Not too sure how to say it. There. Um, I think I found this off of Emma's channel that's when I first ever saw this and I feel like this will become one of my favorite small size books that's why I decided to pop it in to this question as one of the answers yeah I really love the style uh, the art style and the line work in sorry I keep flicking the page but yeah Seen some beautiful works done in this one, and again, it's definitely a bit more on the simple side, yet it's so detailed at the same time, and very quirky. I love that, so I'm excited to hopefully get into this one soon. And the last one I have here is I Heart Kawaii by, it's by two people I believe, yeah, it's illustrated by Emily Hunter Higgins and Harry Thornton and edited and designed by these two. So yeah, this is another one on the simple side. Very, very cute and kawaii. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to jumping into this book, which again is why I decided to squeeze this one in as one of the answers as well. I want to show you one of my favourite pages in here, which I will be doing a colouring book haul at the end of the month, so I'll probably show it in that too. Uh, but this one, I love dragons so much, and he's roasting a little marshmallow here over by the fire. It's just super, super cute. I love it. So, yeah, that is... One of my eight other favourites, or soon to be favourites, I just cannot wait to colour in these. So the fifth and final question is, what is your favourite most detailed or intimidating page that you've done so far? So this came down to two for me, because I couldn't just choose one, because I found them intimidating in different, yet the same kind of ways. So the first one is... Enchanted Forest by Joanna Basford. This is like my first ever coloring book, adult coloring book, when I got into coloring. Uh, so it's kind of yellowing, but it's really, really loved. So I got a little tab here. So this one was intimidating because I really loved this page. It was one of the first pages. I obviously saw in this book that made me want to buy it and 
because I love the page so much, I was so scared and intimidated to jump in and again try my best to give this page the justice it deserves which I jumped in I made sure to take my time and be very patient because I know when I don't be patient or take my time I don't color to the best of my ability like many of us would agree with uh I think it's the same for all of us and then I get angry or frustrated or you know just upset because I end up not really liking the page because I know I didn't do it to the best of my ability but I jumped into this one really really loved it really happy it I felt so great after finishing this page I was so proud of myself for pushing myself to do this page and look at the outcome I ended up loving it I still love it to this day so yeah, it's actually one of my first YouTube videos here on my channel if you go back to my first video or a speed colouring playlist because I've got, uh, I think just this one is the only video in that playlist and it's just uh, very, very early days of what I was going to do with my channel and the speed colouring of this. So that is the first one and the second one is in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. So uh, I believe this was one of my first hardcover books and I just loved Hannah Carlson's stuff. I was so excited to get one of her books and I decided to go with my favourite at the time that was released which was Magical Dawn. I really loved the images in here. Again same as the Joanna Basford one I was a little intimidated because it being a book I've always wanted and wanting to give the picture justice but it, again it's one of my favorite pictures to this day it is this one here it's this pink theme uh, which I call it the pink palace <laughs> page uh, it's a monochromatic pink page if you cannot tell uh, I was kind of scared to jump into it and again I took my time I still remember looking at this page that I was marathoning Sailor Moon at the time which is very fitting with the pinks so that's a very fun memory to have with this picture um, I did the little cloud background by hand with my Prismacolors I didn't use a stencil or anything and I was really proud of it and yeah I just really took my time with it and again one of my favorite pages to this day I am proud that I pushed myself uh, there are some other pages that you know I really really love in this book like I love any pages with a bunch of mushrooms on it I love shading mushrooms um, yeah there's this little page here with the mouse I just really want to do a nice gradient background and make the colors pop on the mushrooms and give the mouse justice you know some fur texture on there so I do love this page but again it intimidates me a little bit because my main factor is wanting to give the page justice so yeah I'll leave this open for the end of the video so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and thank you again Sarah for tagging me I am going to be tagging three channels and the people that I tag which do not feel pressured at all to do the video of course you do not have to I just saw that these were channels under a thousand uh, subscribers and I enjoy their videos a lot so uh, the first person I tag is Mini Rage. The second person I tag is D's Life in Color. And the third person I tag is Tiffany Colors 79. So those are the next people I am tagging. Of course, you do not have to do it. And I will leave uh, their channels and a link to their channel in the description below so please go check that out I will also leave Sarah um, from C Chronic Coloring Down Under's channels below because you need to check her out she's great and she's really really lovely and of course I also tag 
anyone else who wants to do this tag it was a lot of fun do not feel you have to be tagged to do the video i would say just get right into it i'm sure jojoza hannah will not mind and thank you so much to the beautiful johanna for making this tag i had a lot of fun i've been enjoying watching the videos on uh like under this tag so yeah okay that's it from me everyone thank you so much for watching and there will be some more videos coming soon until next time bye everyone i'll see you in the next video